We are about to witness an extremely unusual convergence of events that many believe could represent a major turning point for our nation. By now you have probably heard that on August the 21st a total solar eclipse will move across the entire continental United States for the first time in decades. In fact, we have not seen a total solar eclipse cross from the west coast to the east coast in 99 years. And it will be the very first total solar eclipse that is only visible in this country since the United States first became a nation. Starting with that event, there is going to be a whole lot going on until we reach the end of September. The following are 12 critical events that are going to happen over a 40-day period from August the 21st to September the 30th. August the 21st and dash the Great American Eclipse will sweep across portions of Oregon, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, Nebraska, Iowa, Kansas, and Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, North Carolina and South Carolina. Seven years later, another very unusual total solar eclipse will move across our nation, and when you plot the paths of both eclipses on a map, they form a giant X right over the center of the United States. August the 23rd end dash a femur exercise known as Earth X 2017 will simulate catastrophes such as mega earthquakes, cyber terrorism or high altitude electromagnetic pulse attacks. An exercise sponsored by FEMA and the U.S. Department of Energy set to take place on August the 23rd called EarthX 2017 will wargame responses to catastrophes such as mega-earthquakes, cyber-terrorism or high-altitude electromagnetic pulse attacks. The exercise will simulate a subcontinent-scale, long-duration power outage, with cascading failures of all other infrastructures according to the official EarthX website. Black sky events are defined as catastrophic occurrences caused by man or nature that bring society to its knees. September the 1st and dash this marks the start of FEMA's annual National Preparedness Month. September the 1st and dash the U.S. State Department's ban on U.S. citizens traveling into North Korea goes into effect. Many are concerned that this is yet another sign that we are moving toward war with North Korea. September the 11th and dash this will be the 16th anniversary of 9-11. September the 20th and dash Rosh Hashanah begins at sunset. September the 21st and dash the UN International Day of Peace. September the 23rd and dash this is the date of what has become known as the Revelation 12 sign. If you are not familiar with this alignment yet, the following is a very brief summary. On September the 23rd a unique astronomical alignment of the Sun, Moon, constellation Virgo, constellation Leo, and planets Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, and Venus is going to fulfill this passage from the Book of Revelation. And a great sign appeared in heaven a woman clothed with the Sun, with the Moon under her feet and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was pregnant and was crying out in birth pains and the agony of giving birth. September the 24th and dash very important national elections will be held in Germany. September the 29th and dash Yom Kippur begins at sunset, and it concludes on September the 30th. Of course September the 30th will be the end of a 40-day period that began back on the day of the Great American Eclipse on August the 21st. September the 29th and dash US Treasury Secretary Stephen Nurchin says that the debt ceiling will be breached on this day if Congress does not raise it by then. September the 30th and dash if Congress does not pass a budget by the end of this day, there will be a government shutdown just like we witnessed in 2013. On top of everything else, the month of September is when the Federal Reserve is scheduled to begin unwinding their $4.5 trillion balance sheet. The other big market force that could ruffle markets is clearly the Fed, which is expected to begin the untested task of unwinding its $4.5 trillion balance sheet in September. In addition, 
It is very interesting to note that a large asteroid will come within 4,200 miles of our planet on October the 12th. The asteroid has not been seen since its 2012 discovery, when it sped past Earth at about one-fourth the distance from Earth to the Moon. It's been too distant and too faint to be detected over the last five years. As it starts to approach Earth this summer, large telescopes will be used to detect it and re-establish the asteroid's precise trajectory. The asteroid, known as 2012 TC4, could come as close as 4,200 miles to Earth, NASA said. That's actually fairly close, when you consider that the Moon is about 239,000 miles away. So what does all of this mean? I don't know, but I am sure that I will receive even more criticism for putting this list together. Those of us that monitor global events and warn about where things are headed are often highly criticized. But in this day and age, we desperately need independent thinkers that are willing to challenge the system. Way too often people just go with the herd and will believe whatever the mainstream media tells them to think. Never let someone else do your thinking for you. Investigate things for yourself and come to your own conclusions. Learning to think critically is one of the most important skills that you can have, and you will find that it is one of the most common traits among those that are truly awake to what is going on in the world. The truth is out there, and if you diligently seek it you will eventually find it. So what do you think about that? Let us know your thoughts and feelings in the comments section below this video. Also be sure to subscribe to stay informed.